If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGNG Empress. Gotta get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, baby. I know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, man. So check this out. We have some news that you would have known is going to happen because we have said it many a times, many a times, plenty of times on the stream, you know what I'm saying, and in other videos. Uh, breaking news, Terrence Bud Crawford has officially vacated his WBO belt. And now, uh, Brian Norman Jr., who recently uh, obtained the interim or regular belt um, from defeating Giovanni Santilla in this spectacular fashion. You got knocked the fuck out, man. Give me my goddamn money. And he has been elevated to the full WBO champion. Now, this move will have potentially a lot of repercussions, right? Because, you know, Teofimo Lopez has seemingly been been targeting uh, Brian Norman Jr. And he said, that, hey, man, he wants to get a chance at, at 147 at, at, at a full belt, you know, at a super champion. And now uh, with, with um with Brian Norman being elevated, it seems like that 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 fight could potentially uh, uh, come into fruition. You know, more imminently than we th than we initially thought. You know, well, not not me because we've been calling it out, but now it's official. You know, what I'm saying so that fight could be could 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 happen in the imminent future, and um, that'd be that'd be a dope thing, man. But not only in the, in addition to that, you know, Terrence Crawford is still considered the full champion of the WBA belt. Um, uh, with with um with Stanionis being considered the regular champion, he they are also saying that he could potentially vacate that soon as well so this is great because you know a lot of people are saying that terrence crawford needs to give up the belts because he's 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 a, a bottleneck in the division or or, or strong army the division rather and um you know he, he's holding it up well now he vacated um and that's not, not even not even what two weeks after he officially moved to 154 made his debut against israel madrimov and claimed the belt there you know so uh which was the wba belt as well so i'm um, shot shout out to him man you know what i'm saying so we're giving the other fighters a chance now as it pertains to boots this also has some uh implications as it pertains to boots as well because a lot of people say oh bud needs to fight boots as he's officially a belt holder and all this stuff and he's holding up the division well shut up bitch Well, now, you know, that's another belt that Boots could go get, you know, because Boots has an IBF. He could go fight Brian Norman for the full WBO belt now. He, uh, you know, you have Barrios over there, too, for WBC. And then Stanionis, if this is true, which we which we have been expecting it to be true, he could also potentially fight uh, um, um, Stanionis for the full belt. Now, will they fight him? We'll see how that goes, you know. But Stanionis has been on record. Barrios has been on record saying they're willing to fight him. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Um, so we'll see how that how that goes, man. Now the only claim that Boots will have to Bud is if he goes to 154, unless you know, because obviously Bud has been doing everything he said he would he wanted to do, right? He said he's gonna go after Canelo or go for Undisputed. Well, first he wanted to fight uh, Tim Zhu, um, um, the winner of Kim, Tim Zhu and Keith Thurman, but then Keith Thurman pulled out, and um, then he wanted the winner of Tim Zhu and Fundora after Fundora after Fundora won. You know, Tim Zhu lost, so he wanted Tim Zhu, but then Tim Zhu lost and Fundora won. You know, and then he wanted Fundora, but then Spence, you know, uh, 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 leapfrogged his ass. <laughs> You know, <laughs> he leapfrogged him, and then so then what did he do? He pivoted and went off to, after Israel Madrimov. You know, now we with with um with Tim Zhu and Israel Madrimov. Sorry, with Tim Zhu fighting Bakram Murtazaliev for the IBF belt, we could potentially see Tim Zhu and Terence Crawford again. But then you know, insert Big Turkey Alashik, and he and you know with, with Terence Crawford working so closely with uh, Big Turk, you know, and, and Big Turk making the proclamation that. He's, he, you know, he proclaimed uh, that twice, actually, once on Twitter and then once, you know, on camera uh, during this last week event with Virgil Ortiz, this past weekend event with uh, Virgil Ortiz and Serhi Boachuk, that he doesn't want to uh, work with Tim Zeus. I will not work with Tim Zeus. What, what happened? So I don't know how that's gonna that's gonna happen. You know, be uh, that's if Tim Zoo wins though, because if Bakram wins, then it doesn't matter, right? But if Tim Zoo wins, who I lean towards Tim Zoo as being the favorite in that fight, me personally, then if Tim Zoo wins the IBF title, then that'll kind of make it set up a potential roadblock as far as business goes uh, with uh, Terence Crawford fighting Tim Zoo. If, if if Big Turk doesn't want to work with Tim Zoo for whatever reason, they got whatever they got going on. You know what I'm saying? But this is very interesting. You know what I'm saying? We we call this out for a while now it has come into fruition, but has officially vacated WBO belt. So that's one less that's one less claim that he has to the 147 pound division. If he vacates it, then he's fully removed from the 147 pound division. And then in order to see Bud versus Boots, if, if Bud 
I mean, if Boots doesn't want to get undisputed for himself or unify at 147, then most likely he'll have to go to 154 and potentially claim a belt for 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 that to incentivize his belt, his his fight versus uh versus Bud, which we all want to see, you know what I'm saying? But it has to make sense for Bud as well because he's already claimed and, and and was very adamant that he has a goal and what well, has two goals. One goal is to get Canelo. That's goal A, and then goal B is depending on. Uh, goal A is reluctance to fight him, and and that's to go for undisputed. So we'll see how it goes, man. I appreciate y'all me as always, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about him vacating. And yeah, man, that's the news for today, man. Y'all be easy. The doctor's out. Peace. Oh, most importantly, before I go, remember with God, we can do anything. Without God, we are nothing. Y'all be easy. From the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.